A Spokane man is mourning the death of his best friend, his dog. He has, though, a local bank to thank for helping him with his grief. KXLY 4's Annie Bishop tells us now that that bank has a big heart and it's making things easier during this time. And Clyde, the story starts here on Nora in Normandy, where a 12 year old dog was hit and killed in this intersection earlier this week. Her death now bringing out the best in so many neighbors. Mocha was my best friend. For more than a decade. I've never seen a dog that loved people as much as Mocha. Jay Phelan's Springer Spaniel Mix has been right by his side. She was so funny. Just I mean, like her see. owner, who is a comedian by trade. But this week, there have been more tears than laughter. On Tuesday, Mocha was run over by a car. I heard a dog crying, terrible pain. Paula Smith lives next door and rushed to help. She went with Thielen's grandson to take Mocha to the vet. The bill was like $1,400 and they wanted half of it. But Thielen's grandson didn't have the money. Paula, without blinking an eye, pulls out her credit card. I had to do it. I had to help the dog and the kid. <laughs> Across the street, an employee at the Spokane Teachers Credit Union who saw Mocha get hit knew she had to help too. Today, two employees stopped by Thielen's home with an envelope. They said, we really feel bad about Mocha, and uh, you've always been, uh, you, you have a lot of friends over at Teachers, and we want you to have this. And she said, it's the vet bill, and I opened it up, and it was the check for $1,400. And uh, I did what every man would do. I started crying, and they started crying. <laughs> then I stopped crying, and they said, can we give you a hug? Even in her death, Mocha continues to make so many smile. I just think that uh, in this day and age, we hear about a lot of bad things. There's people out there with big hearts and uh, who really care. And Thielen buried Mocha in his backyard and now plans to plant a tree in her memory. Reporting live in North Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News. Oh,